Greetings viewers, this is the Car Doctor coming to you today with a quick tip for doing front brake pads and rotors. Today we're working on an 08 Ford F350 Super Duty. Watch this quick video, I'm going to help keep you on the road. So first we're going to pop off the wheel and get going on this bad boy. Move the hubcap. Remove the eight lug nuts. You can slightly compress the caliper by putting a screwdriver through the caliper and into the rotor vanes and prying outward, thus depressing the piston slightly and allowing removal of the caliper. Now I'm going to remove the two uh, bracket to steering knuckle bolts on the caliper mounting bracket. On this vehicle it takes a 21 millimeter. And I'm going to set the bracket aside. Remove the brake rotor. It may not just pop right off. Uh, you may have to kind of tap on the rotor hat a little bit with, with a sledgehammer uh, to get it to come loose. And uh, there you go. Clean your hub and make sure there's no debris on the face of the hub, which would cause the rotor to run out of parallel. Now install your brake rotor. Now I'm going to prepare the caliper mounting bracket for the new brake pads. I'm also going to lube the slider bolts. I remove and clean the caliper slider bolts from the mounting bracket and then I apply a light coating of ceramic brake lubricant to each bolt and reinsert it into the caliper bracket. You can use any type of brake part lubricant. However, I prefer this ceramic brake lube. It seems to be a superior product. Works good. For this application, I am using the CarQuest professional brake pads that come with the hardware. Uh, with the H on the end of the part number. Highly recommend it. They'll uh, help you do a good brake job and avoid noise down the road or problems like that. It is a semi-metallic pad. That is the OE replacement pad for this vehicle. And these are a lifetime warranty part. Now I am coating the caliper mounting bracket to knuckle bolts with a small amount of medium strength Loctite. I'll just snug up the bolts with my impact.
the front caliper mounting bracket to knuckle bolts, or otherwise known as the anchor plate mounting bracket to the knuckle bolts, are torqued at 166 foot-pounds torque. Now let's compress the caliper pistons. Placing one of the old pads on the inside of the caliper facing the caliper pistons, I'll install a C-clamp and center it, then making sure I'm depressing both calipers evenly, I'll begin to compress the caliper pistons. This part of the process is only necessary if you need to depress the caliper pistons to accommodate the replacement of the brake pads. If you're not replacing the disc brake pads, you won't need to recompress the caliper pistons at this time. Simply reinstall them on the original brake pads mounted to the caliper mounting bracket. Once it's fully compressed, I remove the C-clamp and I place the caliper assembly, making sure that the brake line is not twisted at all and I'll insert it over the brake pads. Now again, I'll put a small amount of medium strength blue Loctite on the ends of the caliper bolts and insert them in the caliper. On this application, the front caliper bolts are torqued to 56 foot-pounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean this rotor with some brake clean and make sure all that protecting film is off of it uh, before I put the rest of the stuff together. I am going to be replacing some steering linkage parts, including the drag link and tie rod ends uh, on this as well. So uh, I'm not going to put that back together at this point in time. But that's pretty much a general overview of what you're going to be looking at to do this job. Okay, guys, remember following any brake service, you want to get in the vehicle and pump up the brakes so you can extend those caliper pistons back up and uh, so you don't throw it in reverse with your brake pedal going to the floor run over the neighbor's dog uh, but anyway after doing that go go put a few miles on it with some light braking applications get those pads seated back in once again this has been the car doctor hey thanks for watching I appreciate the likes and subscriptions to my channel and I wish you good luck with your repairs <laughs>